I chose to study civil engineering at Vanderbilt because I knew I wanted to make tangible change in the world and something like renewable energy was near and dear to my heart. So before I was applying to schools, I found that Vanderbilt, unlike any other school, offered me the opportunity to be innovative, to really explore whatever fields I wanted to within my discipline. Hi, my name is Leslie Labrudo, and I graduated from Vanderbilt in 2011 with a bachelor's degree in civil engineering. At Vanderbilt, I was able to minor in both engineering management and energy and environmental systems, which gave me a nice comprehensive background and that full, well-rounded education that I was looking for. What I was also afforded was the opportunity to travel abroad during my undergraduate experience during the summers and seek opportunities that were in the Nashville community, which was something that really transformed my time when I was at Vanderbilt. I'm currently working in South Africa after earning a master's degree from Imperial College in London. I was afforded the opportunity um, via my recommendations from professors at Vanderbilt to seek other opportunities after I graduated to earn a degree in sustainable energy engineering. My job is very international and I have the opportunity to travel to places like Johannesburg, Seychelles and Maldives to work on diesel replacement projects internationally. As you can see, the landscape in South Africa looks very different to the landscapes in the United States. These are townships equipped with solar hot water heaters generated from solar so that the tenants can have a life of dignity and access to hot water. At the Clinton Foundation, within the clean energy team, I'm fortunate to work in two work streams. The first promotes renewable energy here in South Africa, primarily solar, where they have some of the best solar resources in the world. We are currently working on a five gigawatt solar park scheduled for implementation by 2020. Secondly, I work in the islands team, where we focus on diesel replacement. Some of these island nations, which are some of the poorest in the world, spend up to 25% of their entire GDP on imported fuels. Meanwhile, they have solar and wind resources they can tap into to power their own grids for energy independence. And additionally, one of my favorite stories is the fact that my professors within the School of Engineering were very supportive of my senior design project. This project entailed going to Guatemala to install a renewable energy system for a local school. After receiving support both financially and technically from my professors, we wound up installing a solar system that also had a backup bike generator system to power a school. It's opportunities like this that don't exist anywhere but at Vanderbilt.